Like, I still 100%. feel like Omaha is 100% at home. Like we we see all of our friends here still, and yeah, we and just chill and be how we used to be, like back in high school with our friends. So it's nice to come back because this is honestly the only place where we can do that, and where there's people who like we met before all this happened. So mm -hmm. we know they're like genuine people, you know. So. Yeah, we were kind of hesitant to do a hometown show. We knew it would be kind of tough, but like eventually you got to get who over cares, that point. You know, and like, who really cares? No one really gives. Uh, no one really cares at all. About so like, what this like kid saying? Who goes to different schools? Yeah, like, you know. And we know like our goes. our day one supporters, our friends, and the people from West Side are really supporting us. And and I mean like yeah, there's jokes here and there, but we know like deep down like the West Siders, you know, they're they're you know they're West Siders too. We're West Siders, so we're all like in the same blood kind of. So I don't know. We liked we liked doing that. And yeah, we had a lot of great support from this, uh, from West Side and from and from a lot of our like hometown friends, teachers, and just everyone, you know? So, mm. I mean, I think we were definitely very happy with the outcome yep. of the show, and it was definitely a good hometown show because, I mean, that's all we could ask for is our support, mm -hmm. you know, so. Yeah. yeah, just like knowing, I don't know, the week fall or like leading up to it, I like had gotten some texts and like, they were just like from people I knew, and we're like, hey, can't wait to see you. We like knew 10% of the people in the crowd, which was like something we've never done. It's, al it's always mm -hmm. just like fangirls who like obviously know who we are, but we don't know exactly who they are specifically and stuff. We so. haven't had like, like one to one like relationships mm -hmm. with them and like mm -hmm. grown up with them, you know. So, I mean, it was definitely different, but yeah. it was awesome at the same time because you know you got to branch out, you got to perform in front of people who may not even know you from time to time. Yeah. So, I mean, I think it was a good stepping stone, and yeah, we just we're glad we did it. We really did it for sure. Yeah. So, I mean, we had the live band as whoever was there saw, and that I mean that is what we want to start incorporating into any upcoming tours, any future yeah. shows. Because we just feel like it you know, legitimizes the show a little bit more, makes it more of like a real show and feels like, oh, we're like real artists up there as opposed to just like some Vine kids dilly-dallying and With a little track messing music around on the back stage. Yeah. yeah. So we're trying to just become more serious and take ourselves. Yeah, we're just trying to make it more not, professional, more yeah. polished. But obviously we want to still keep our humor. We love mm. just like interacting and being goofy on stage, you know? Yeah. Just because like that's what, that's what we like. We, we blew up because of like our, our, Personalities, and yeah, because just of our humor, uh, yeah. Like humor so we never want to, we never want to isolate that part of us, because that's what kind of made us to this point right now. So yeah. we always want to stay true to our humor and always joke around on stage and never take it too serious. But yeah. at the same time, we want the music to be top notch. We want the show to be top notch, and yeah, we want it to be as professional as possible. I mean, I think the general reaction has been that our music has been getting better. And yeah, that's great to see and that's awesome to hear because. We have music that we haven't released yet that I, I mean I think is even better than the music that is out now. So yeah. I'm just excited because every time we work with new people, it just escalates a level and we are growing as artists because we are honestly like in the studio so much and we are writing so much music yeah. and every like, verse that he writes is gonna get better and every every note that I hit, I'll hit it more exact, you know. So it's yeah, like, he's taking voice lessons now out in LA and it's gonna be awesome because we're honestly we're really into music, and we've always been really into music. Yeah, and so now like, we wanna we wanna keep. Now just, that we have this opportunity that, to do it for a living, I mean, we we definitely want to take advantage yeah. of it and make sure we work hard and you know do as much as possible. Yeah, just, don't let this opportunity just slip through our fingers. Course, course. This is what we love to do. Why not make it a career? Do you guys actually write your own lyrics? Because that's always been sort we of do. Yeah, 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 yeah. We do. Of, a lot of people, you know, I'll see stuff on Twitter and like, oh, like these are such generic lyrics. Like, you guys don't write these. Like sometimes, like in our older music, like. Like, Flights, I'll Give Flights, yeah, that, that was a pretty generic song. We were just like, our first songs, we were just trying to grasp that audience and, and really interest, like, you know, the basic audience that, like, we already had and just make sure that they kind of related to our music, too. But now that we almost have that music fan base, we can start, like, writing about stuff that we actually want to write about. Like, as you can see, he, he came out with, like, this little solo, uh, like, verse, just like this free verse that he just felt like writing one day. And I, it's definitely like, it was more serious. It was more serious. It, that's not just like flights to LA. Like you know what I'm saying? We can definitely try and make stuff that people can relate to and that people can you know have a personal connection with because that's what music is supposed to do. It's supposed yeah. to bring out your emotions. So, I mean, we honestly want to start writing like flights. Like obviously, we never took flights to LA with girls. So we definitely want to start writing about like stuff that's actually going on in our lives and real stuff. And we think that alone will just draw in more people because. Yeah. Because when you write about real stuff, like people can tell. People can tell if it's real, people can tell if it's fake, you yeah. know. So I think if they can tell that it's genuine and we're actually going through this stuff, they'll want to relate with us more. They'll be a bigger fan, so I don't know. I think yeah. our music's definitely maturing. So. I couldn't have said it better, that was nice. What's, What's to, come? to come? I don't know, we're gonna try. More music videos than music, I would say, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah, January, definitely. we're definitely hitting them hard. Our videographer, Andre, he, he lives with us out in LA and we're just gonna set up some, some music videos with him. He's a really talented videographer, so. We're excited just to yeah. We're gonna make music videos for like our favorite, the one like our favorite of the 
one month of music. Five, there. Yeah, like yeah. five songs or four songs or whatever it was. And I think we'll make like two or three, hopefully try to make them like all, try to like completely do a music video for every single one. But mm -hmm. I don't know, I guess more, more importantly, we're gonna try to start working on an album when we get back to LA with some, with some of the best writers, sorry, with some of like the best writers in LA and, and some of the best people we could ever ask to work for or work yeah. with. So we're just excited to write an album and, and make it mean something or mean a lot to us. Yeah, because I mean, this these last like five songs, we were originally planning to release this as an album and like we have more songs that we haven't released and we were going to put it all together as a compilation. But then we sat down and we realized we're like, is this the best we can do? Like these songs, a lot of them don't even have similar themes, like the ones we've been releasing recently. So we want the album to be consistent, at least themes wise, you know, more consistent genre wise. Yeah, not necessarily completely tell a story, but definitely have what you said, just that main theme and like that main feel that, that people can relate to, so. So we just want to make sure when we release our first album, it's as good as possible and we're working with the people who we know are going to take it to that level, so. Mm. So yeah, that's definitely in the plans for before summer, yeah. you know. Yeah, 2015 in general. 2015 just in general. Music and touring. And of course, still our old stuff, you know, we'll keep posting vines, keep posting YouTube sketches. Yeah, you know? all social media content will just keep up like that. Yeah, because as I said, we can never is uh, isolate that part of us because that's mm -hmm. that's what got us to this point. So yeah. we want to make sure we stay consistent with our comedy and what got us here. I mean, we're independent and we've decided not to take a label route just because, I don't know, we kind of want to be like, like, pathfinders. Or, so, I mean, we definitely decided to take an independent route in... We've been releasing our stuff through this website called TuneCore. Now it's a website called DistroKid, but they're both third-party release websites where you just upload your own music for like, yeah. just like a flat like, fee. Yeah, anyone can just And upload. so, I mean, when we released an album, we wanted it to be where we like have it for pre-order and then a new track would drop, like get unbolded in iTunes, you know, like every week. But we really didn't know how to do that with, with this third-party website without the help of the labels. So, so we were like, yo, if we can't do this and do this how we want it, like let's just... Let's just release them as singles. Yeah, and you know, at, why the, not? at this point, like the only person to go platinum, which means like a million record sales on an album or album sales, I should say, on an album is Taylor Swift this year and the movie Frozen. <laughs> so like, we don't really compare to either of those two things. So we were like, why would we not just keep putting out singles? Like they sell amazing. Yeah, like, they not, sell better I mean, than any album. Yeah, before. until we're ready for an album, like we don't see any point mm -hmm. in in putting together any projects. We want to make sure our first project is, you know. Yeah. And we really want to establish ourselves as artists before, and musicians before we put out an album just out of nowhere. So, like, people aren't really confused and like, why are these kids, why do these kids have an album? Like, I don't know. So, we're, we're gonna definitely put in the time and the work before we just throw an album out there. Because we want it to be really good. Yeah, and we'll definitely be talking to people who will help us be able to do that type of pre-order mm -hmm. strategy I was talking mm -hmm. about and stuff. So yeah, we're definitely getting the pieces in place with our team and yeah, it'll be exciting year. Yeah. So like one of us will come up. I don't know. This is just like a really specific example, but I remember this one time where I like we were in the studio and like one of us kept coming up with like hooks or both of us kept coming up with like hook melodies and stuff, and like we just couldn't decide on one. And today, this song that we were working at or working on called Rendezvous, or Rendezvous. How do you say that word? I keep I keep Rendezvous. screwing that up. Rendezvous. Rendezvous. And no, uh, but yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah, that song is still unfinished. Still like kind of untouched. We've been like going back every time we go back to LA and we're like, dude, this song could be so sick, but like, I there's don't know, something missing, there's something know? missing. So like we're trying, it's just, th those are the things that like a, a normal person would listen to the song and be like, okay, yeah, this is a good song. This is like pretty vibey, whatever. But like we listen to it and we're like, no, like it's terrible because there's just that one thing missing. But if there were that one thing, it would be a good song to us. So. Now, now it's really becoming like, yo, we want to make like good music, best quality, quality possible, music. So. Yeah. We're very, we're very hard on ourselves, for sure. We, we're perfectionists, that's yeah. it. Yeah. You Our know, life, I mean, it's, it's... It's really busy. I mean, we, we're, we're doing something every day, that's for sure. Whether, mm -hmm. it, be, whether it be filming a new video or, or going getting to in the, the studio, studio or, or having a meeting with some agency or some company or business or whatever yeah. it is. 